Next, we want to focus some much-deserved attention on the cancer cartel. Senior correspondent Alicia Quarles sat down with the three brave women who founded this nonprofit. And Alicia, I understand these founders, they have all beaten cancer and they have quite the stories themselves. Well, that's right, Thomas. These women are incredible. We had such an inspiring conversation and I can't wait to share it all with you. We just decided that we are here for a reason. This battle is supposed to mean something. We took something terrible and turning it into something good. Carrie, Shelley, and Katie are cancer warriors. While fighting in the trenches themselves, these survivors learn one tough lesson. Confronting cancer is expensive. You and I, we talked about the hidden costs of cancer. A lot of people don't know what they are. So oh, it's, it's so many. I mean, it's, so it's, many. It's the gas money, the groceries, groceries, eating out, parking, hey. lost wages, childcare. Oh, All the extra cost adds up. You know, the cost day. of toothpaste with your co-pays. Mm. You know, I mean, it's just yeah. the little things that you can't afford. There's just so many things that people don't think about. Mm -hmm. Choosing between life-saving chemo yeah. drugs and your rent. No one should ever have to make that choice. Yes, ever. And financial stress makes you very sick. No one wants to be even sicker when they're already fighting cancer. To address all these invisible but debilitating costs, they started the Cancer Cartel, a nonprofit that provides immediate cash gifts directly to cancer patients to use however they need to. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Those are awesome. Thank you so much. You're, you're awesome. awesome. Yeah, you are. You're awesome. It's not easy to start a nonprofit, let alone while you're dealing with chemo and life and everything that comes with it. What were the biggest barriers to entry in founding the cancer cartel? We were all quite far out from our cancer journey, but you're right. Founding a nonprofit is daunting. Oh. <laughs> the nonprofit exploded when the ladies started accepting designer handbags as donations. They resold these luxury items to fund their venture. Now they partner with The Real Real, a high-end consignment shop to incorporate their love of fashion with their drive to raise them serious cash. People are sick of donating to the big machines, yeah. not knowing where the money's going, knowing that it goes from us directly to the it's hands of people that are fighting cancer. It's just a little different. You have three new friends yes. that speak your language. Let's give her a hug. Yeah, yeah. virtual yeah. hug. <laughs> hug. And Thomas, to get involved with this inspiring nonprofit, visit cancercartel.com or just follow the ladies on social media at Cancer Cartel. What a collection of inspiring and wonderful women. Uh, Alicia Quarles reporting, thank you very much.